Hello, YouTube, and hello, fellow orchid grower friends. How are you? This video is about the two fowls that you're seeing right now. These are no ID from grocery stores. The story behind these two fowls, these two mini fowls, is that they came in the same pot, so it's really two for the price of one. And I'm a sucker for that whenever I come across those. Um, I have a couple, um, quote unquote, twin fells purchases um, from Trader Joe's. Um, I feel like I'm getting a half off, right? But the, these, these kind of twin fell plants are great for experiments or just, you know, interesting for um, comparison. You know, they must have been grown together, received the same environment and condition, um, the same fertilization and fertilizing. And also, um, you know, basically they go through a lot together. But, you know, these two individual, they, um, they, give, they have different res <clears throat> response to my growing method. The one on the right here, after the spike is spent, I cut the spike and immediately it shoots out a cakey. And this one, you know, had about the same length of spike, but this one bloomed all the way to the very last bud. This bud was almost not in existence at the end of the spike when I purchased them, but it continued to grow. Um, even though I put these two fowls in full water culture ever since I got it. Um, and the reason for that is they had okay root system, but not great. Um, and at the time I knew I was about to move to a different state. So I did not want to pot them in media so i thought it's easier for for them to be in full water culture so that you know once i'm here i can decide what to do with them but also i use a microfiber to tie around the um the root area just to give some roots um, more moisture I don't give them a whole lot of water. It's just really at the bottom because their roots are not really that tall. I don't want them to be in too, you know, too deep in the water. And this one too. So these two have very different big behavior. This one just continued to, to bloom until the very end. And it's giving me a new root here. I believe there's another root tip coming quite small. And then this one is just basically giving me a cakey and then it's pushing out a root here as well. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do with them. Um, maybe I should put them into my new planned setup, which is um, some Lekka and some Ceramis or Manto Clay, which is, you know, pretty similar to Ceramis. I, I'm, I'm eager to try it out. Um, I've purchased them. They're on their way. So let me know what you guys think, what I should do with these two fowls, since they are really the same kind of phalaenopsis and they have received pretty much, you know, exactly the same care and condition up until this point, up until I purchased them and separated them. I think they're just adorable. This is a very common hybrid that you see at grocery stores, but I still find them very very um cute and interesting so let me know what you think about <clears throat> these two fowls and what i should do with them um should i give them the same kind of media or maybe i should perhaps do further experiment um maybe one potted in moss or one remains in full water culture and the other one with media uh, maybe ceramics or manto clay or like a beads let me know. All right, until next video, please take care of yourself. Happy growing. Ciao.